Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, and in what I've failed to do. In my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us, keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek them with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building, On the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is in the housetop, who is on the housetop, and whose belongings are in the the house, must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember, the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. There will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Try to understand today's Gospel within the idea, the the context, the the words of St. John in the second letter. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. I think this is difficult for us, especially today, to understand what that means. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. Ever since, no, what love is, is it's much nicer than walking according to commandments. Love feels wonderful. Love gives us great motivation and strength. Love makes us happy. And St. John, without contradicting that, gives us a much more important teaching about love that we walk according to his commandments. And so our life, probably the the most difficult and most important lessons of life that we're to learn is how love, while continuing to be that principal drive of our lives and of our actions, our thoughts and of our interactions with people and with God, that that love has to learn, so to speak, the truth. Walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. And so what we see is all of these actions that are common to the human race, and that's what Jesus talks about in today's gospel. Life goes on as though it were normal. You know, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, uh, buying, selling, planting, building, and yet the Son of Man comes and at a moment when it's, un- when it's completely unexpected. And then we have this image of the people who are, there's two people in bed and then two people at work. And one is taken and one is left in both cases. So 
whether you are at rest or whether you are at work, there's a kind of vigilance that we're to have, uh, seeking God, seeking to live according to these commandments. And so even if on the outside our lives look pretty much the same as everyone else's, and in a lot of ways that should be the case, uh, on the inside that inner attitude has to be one of total offering, total and complete um, dedication and devotion to Jesus. And that is love. And that is what the commandments are teaching us. That when love tries in our lives to bring the bar down, so to speak, uh, we have to look through that experience to Christ who calls love to a much higher, a much loftier position. Our hearts, our hearts are, our treasures where our hearts are. If our hearts are in heaven, if our hearts are with Christ, then our eyes are fixed on Him and He raises our love to His level. And so, if, as we keep His commandments, even if our lives look just like everyone else's, that our love will be divine. Our love will be the love that Christ Himself places in our hearts and in our lives. So let us receive this love from Him. Let us receive this life from Him to be focused where He is in heaven and to allow the ways of the world, the ways of humanity, to not become a stumbling block to our hearts.
Dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will, and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Luke, St. John, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, his assistant, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
there's gonna be an open room here. Great. It'll just be like a amazing. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.